Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wildfire here. Before we get into today's battles, new usage stats have been posted for June 2014. And uh, link will be down below, obviously. Some interesting things to note that uh, Baton Pass Spam has moved Vaporeon all the way up to OU. It was literally like 0.2% away from dropping to RU, which would have been really cool if Vaporeon getting used in RU. But nope, fucking Baton Pass just grabs hold of it and brings it all the way back up to OU. So, sorry Vaporeon, you're going to be useless for a long time to come. Um, UU lost Jolteon, so Jolteon is now RU. Maybe now it's finally completely not useless in O class. Uh, and the really cool thing, if you look here down at the bottom of the RU statistics, well, these are the things that will uh, pull Pokemon out of NU. Regardless of whether they're broken or not, if they're used in a higher tier, they're no longer NU. Let's look at some names here. Verizion, it is now RU by usage. No more Verizion in NU. Durant, no longer in NU. Dualblade, no longer in NU. Shuckle, no longer an NU. Four of the most cancerous Pokemon in the tier. Boop. Goodbye. Goodbye. So basically all that's really left in the tier is uh, Siglyph, which, by the way, 3.4 is the cutoff. Look how close Siglyph was to being yoinked out of the tier as well. Uh, the only real problematic things left in the tier are Shiftry and Siglyph, to be honest. Um... And yeah, I mean, that's great. That's great. No more Dual Blade, no more Durant, no more Verizion, and no more Shuckle. Boys and girls, and you, just by the power of usage, is now nice and clean and nice and enjoyable and nice and playable. So go out there and play it. Speaking of going out there and playing it, I have a team for you today. Uh, it's a pretty cool one, I think. Uh, I've been, been looking. Okay, Spec Swallow. It's a great poke. Lacks a little bit of power. Sigilyph. Great poke. But, uh, I don't know. It just feels like it's missing a touch of power. Pyroar. Great poke. But, uh, wouldn't it be broken if it got, like, a nasty plot boost or something? Well, enter Tail Glow Volbeat. I feel like Tail Pass is something that could really, really be broken in this tier with the right team. I don't think I have the right team here, but I gave it a decent shot. Uh, basically how it works is uh, Volbeat can learn Tail Glow and Baton Pass, and it has Prankster. So, uh, passing a plus three boost out to something can be obviously game changing. I mean, look at Swallow. It does like 45% to special defense of Audino. A plus three isn't only a double of the power, it's double plus a little bit more. So, like, plus three would just straight Oko Audino with a boom burst from Swallow. Just, just stupid stuff. Plus three is pretty broken to just be passing around, especially as you look on my team. I have three special threats that all would love to receive a plus three boost. So, basically, the thought process behind my team when I built it was yeah, Shiftry, because it's Shiftry, gives me defog support, gives me priority, gives me knockoff, gives me everything that Shiftry could ever dream of doing. It's amazing. Um, obviously I wanted Volbeat, I'm running physically defensive Volbeat, because um, Sock, t theoretically, is a switch into Sock, I could take a close combat, uh, I can paralyze it, I can Encore stuff. It's 2 wave Encore, Baton Pass, and Tail Glow. I have Spec Swallow with Boom Burst, U-Turn, and I think Brave Bird for Verizion, but I guess I could take that off now, can't I? Woof! Not bad. So it'll just be Boom Burst and U-Turn in the pace bin now. Um, Sigilyph with Substitute to get past Sucker Punchers, because uh, Sucker Puncher is totally a verb. But uh, to get past Pokemon with Sucker Punch, I run Substitute 3 Attack on Sigilyph. Uh, at plus 3, it just decimates the tier. Um, Pyroar. Now, Pyroar, I feel like this could be the problem with the team. I'm not sure. I'm not running Specs Pyroar for the first time in forever. I'm actually running Sub Leftovers. Uh, once again, to get past Sucker Punchers. But also because I feel like if I'm running Specs Fire Blast... Um, and I baton pass plus three, I'll just end up missing fire blast on pokes that I really don't need to hit with a plus three fire blast. So I feel like if I have plus three flamethrower is more than enough, and I don't want to run sub life orbs so or sub lefties, I don't know. Like like I said, this team is far from perfect. I just wanted to throw some stuff together to see how viable tail pass really is. And then in the last slot, so I don't just lose the fire spam, I have a specially defensive seismitoad to complement the physically defensive uh, Volbeat. So getting into said first game today. He's actually going to lead with Audino, as I just lead Shiftry. Uh, knockoff is going to cripple the Audino. Well, kind of cripple the Audino. It's going to prevent Lefty's recovery. And uh, first turn, instead of setting up rocks, if Audino even gets rocks, I think it, I think it might. I'm not sure. Probably doesn't. Um, he's going to knock me off, which is fine. I'm going to go right out into Leodan the Lady Anne. As he doubles out to Exeggutor, I'm fine with staying in and sacking this thing, because he does have a Rabbit Spinner, and uh, Exeggutor without its berry is great, so I'd rather knock that off right away. Third turn in a row, I'm just going to hit him up with the old Gen 6, not knock off the Weezing's leftovers so that he can't recover as much. Then I'm going to defog away the Toxic Spikes because I don't want stuff being poisoned. And he's going to kill me with Sludge Bomb. That's fine. I bring in Swallow. No Guts, no Glory. 
And uh, he thinks I am uh, physical, so I'm just going to be able to kill off the Weezing. No T-Spikes for him. Uh, Dual Blade comes in, thinking he's safe. 44 plus 44. He does kill me, but Dual Blade is no longer a problem. As uh, I can just go out to the old royalty. Spelled wrong, because I'm really stupid. <laughs> and um, he's going to switch out. Not quite, like... <laughs> I don't know. It was such an obvious switch that I was kind of upset for him for doing said obvious switch, but it's fine. I'm going to predict the uh, Stealth Rock and go to the old Beat Block Galaxy, but uh, he actually goes to Aldino, which is also fine, because what it allows me to do is uh, go out into the old Pyro at plus three. He protects as I set up a substitute, and um, that's going to be the game. <laughs> that, that's, just, that's just the game. Um, I mean, looking at the rest of his team, obviously, I Oko literally everything on his team at this point with the correct corresponding move. And uh, plus three Pyroar behind a sub is not something to be taken lightly. Uh, looking at this second battle here against Gitz Mati, uh, he has an interesting looking team. It's more, like I said, it's another one of those kind of defensive looking teams with the Audino, the Pelipper, Dragal, Logalogalog. Um, Behem can be a huge threat if uh, I play around it poorly. Because it gets the coverage moves, it gets the analytic, it gets the recover, the nasty plot, etc, etc. Um, looking at his team though, don't really care what he's going to lead with, I'm just going to lead off with the old tree, get a knockoff off on the first turn. Okay, Leafeon leads off, I'm like, well he's obviously going to go for X, does it right? No, apparently he's just content on spamming knockoff, that's fine. So, um, now predicting the Dragulge <laughs> to come in, because that's really stupidly obvious. I'm going to go right out into Leo Dan the Lady Anne, as, um... I think I went for the knockoff there, I'm not even sure what I went for. But uh, regardless, on this turn I'm just going to set up my rock, because I know he's basically forced out to switch, as uh, he's going to go back up to Leafeon. I know, like, knockoff, um, bug, and grass is what this thing gets. Apparently they also run SD Quick Attack. I don't know, I, I just kill it with a flamethrower. Get my Moxie boost, it's fine. He brings out Audino. And at this point I'm like, okay, maybe I can just go straight for game, as I'm going to bring out um, Full Beat. As he passes a wish out to his Harmaldo, I try to encore him in to uh, the thing. I, I'm predicting maybe a Rapid Spin, maybe a Stealth Rock of his own, and I can try to take advantage of that. Maybe a Rock Blast Mist, maybe a two-hit Rock Blast, but no, not only does he just kill me with Stone Edge, but he also carries the Aqua Jet, so Pyro just dies. And at this point, I'm pretty scared. I feel like I'm just going to straight lose. I lost to Volbeat, and uh, this team is basically based around Volbeat. Um... So I'm going to go for the Earthquake on the switch, he goes out to Audino, I can knock off this thing's leftovers, limit its healing at least a little bit. Uh, earthquake again, um, <laughs> as you've all seen like two battles ago on my channel, I don't mess around with Audinos anymore. I don't try to predict people switching out, I don't try to predict anything random, I just go for the kill every time because I, I don't want to be in that situation again where they try to sack the Audino three times and I end up losing to it. I'm going to go with the Pelipper, going to knock off his lefties, once again limit his recovery as he goes for the damn stockpile. I don't even have Toxic on this thing. I don't have Toxic on this team. I'm scared. He goes for Hurricane and misses. Absolutely fine. Siglyph would have A, taken the hit, and B, why are you running Hurricane over Air Slash? You're just going to miss, and it's going to be sad times for you. Um, Leo Dan, the Lady Anne, is easy switch into this armal, though. No matter what he wants to do, whether he wants to spin, whether he wants to set up his own rocks, I don't really care. It's going to Earthquake. It goes back out to Pelipper. Once again, pretty safe switch. Back out into the old Siglyph, as uh, he just decides to get rid of the rocks. I'm going to air Sasha on the switch as he goes out to Adino. And uh, little does he know, Psyshock is just going to kill him because he's most likely special defensive. This is why we carry Psyshock, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to switch into his Behem. I know Shiftry is an acceptable switch. I highly doubt that he's going to pull out the rogue HP fighting and kill me on the switch. So um, I'm going to be able to knock off again, get off some decent damage on the Pelipper. Switch out into the uh, Swallow. And uh, he misses another Hurricane. Once again, um, it would have killed, to be fair. But... Uh, Air Slash wouldn't have killed, and if you don't want to miss, just run Air Slash, man. <laughs> really, the, you, just just run Air Slash. Uh, Boom Burst is going to put in a little bit of work on his team, and I can clean up the old game with the old Broken Tree. So, um, yeah, I, like I said, I don't feel like this team's that good. I don't think it's that solid, but I think it has a really good concept behind it, it with that, uh, especially, like I said, now, without t the tiers like top five threats. Um... I feel like Tail Pass is definitely a solid option to look at, and uh, I, I welcome you guys to steal the team from my pace spin, try it out, make some changes, and uh, tell me if you can get it to work any better, because, uh, like I said, I don't think this team's that solid. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys uh, are looking forward to the new NU, with the new lack of giant threats. Uh, it's going to be a ton of fun, it's going to basically reinvent the meta, no Dual Blade, no Verizion, no Durant. What are we even doing here anymore? Uh, 
I believe they're also going to be soon testing Sigalith and Shiftry, is what I've been told through the grapevine, because now that NU is officially in beta, not alpha, they're actually going to be doing some tests, and uh, that's great. Remove the other two biggest threats, and you have a nice kind of balanced here with a lot of fire spam and the size method. So, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, a rating would be much appreciated. Try out Tail Pass and let me know how it goes. I will see you next time. Take it easy. Have a good day. See you later. Peace, guys.